Kiri here, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great today. So I finally have a base game house for you guys. It's been a while since the last time that I built one and I just, I felt really inspired to build a base game only house um, because I found some inspiration pictures on Pinterest and I just, I felt like I needed to build a base game only house. So here it is. This is actually something that I didn't think I would, um, could, like I could finish <laughs> because it's difficult. It's really difficult to build with base game only. And you know, my favorite style of building is actually modern. And even though base game has a lot of modern style furniture, it wasn't, it's not always easy to build it. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I really wanted to surprise you with a base game house and here it is. This is for those of you who don't have any packs, who just have only base game or for those who have just a few packs so you don't have to struggle with all the things that I use in my regular builds and just you have a base game house here for you and then you can download and also you can um, upgrade if you want <laughs> and add things from other packs if you have any other and stuff so yeah I am building this in a 30 by 30 lot in Newcrest it's been a while since I built in Newcrest I usually tend to build like community lots here for some reason I think the the landscaping and everything is kind of it kind of suits more um, um, community lot more than a house but yeah i didn't want to build in willow creek because it's a modern house and i really wanted to have some greenery inside, like on the outside of the house so always springs wasn't a good option either so yeah i decided to build it here in newcrest and uh something that caught my attention when i was building this house uh that i took the inspiration from a picture on pinterest uh it was these rocks that i'm placing now because the inspirational picture actually had these rocks in the front of the build and I just really loved how it looked it, like the vibe that gave to the outside it was just so so cool and I was searching for rocks on the debug menu on the base game debug menu and I found this that I don't know if this one's I have been always been in the menu of if they are just like a new addition to the game or anything because I don't remember have seen in them before but I was really glad when I found them because they work perfectly in this build so yeah you will see a lot of rocks here I placed them uh, some of them already and I cut some other parts because it was too repetitive and I'm gonna keep on adding more rocks um, on the other side of the build and yeah you will see it quite a few times so I didn't think it was necessary that you saw on me putting, putting all the, <laughs> the rocks. <laughs> so yeah, I cut out that part. But here you're seeing the back of the house. Oh, well, we're in the interior now, but I want to talk about the back of the house because it actually, I, it's always a struggle for me to build, like to create or build the back of a house. Um, I don't know why it's just, always a struggle for me like I didn't I don't know what to do because the back of the houses um, usually are not the nicest parts of it so I usually don't know what to do but I think it came out really uh, nice at the very end and I used this part of the house to put like the kitchen and you will see some other stuff that work perfectly with the outside as well but yeah I didn't show you the floor plan because I struggled quite a lot with it and because I wanted to use the platform tool for this, for the inside of the house, for the interior, and I didn't use it that much because um, it, it wouldn't look the way that I wanted it to look. So yeah, I just cut the floor plan and I'm only showing you how I'm furnishing the interior. So you already saw the kitchen and you're seeing the dining room now. It's at the very entrance of the house, but it's an open concept, so it doesn't matter, in my opinion at least. <laughs> and I used those chairs from the Chinese New Year update that we got. And I think they look really good because even though they are from the Chinese New Year pack, um, update them, I mean, I still think they look kind of modern in a way, so I really like them. And I wanted to use this big window area here to put the living room, of course. So I'm using these couches and these armchairs 
that are actually the most modern ones that we got in base game in my opinion at least and they have so many color swatches that i wanted to use because i tend to use always the white ones or the gray ones but i wanted some color here in this house so i used this kind of i don't know kind of bluish um turquoise color i don't know and i used some chairs to simulate like they were uh, cushions on the on the couch in there i think that's a good technique i've seen it in a lot of videos a lot of simmers do that technique just to make it look more like cluttered in my opinion so yeah and it's not usual that i have the opportunity to use this big big um coffee table because I tend to have really small areas, like the common areas are not that big, so they don't have the space for a big, big coffee table. But I think this one actually looks really good in there and I don't use it that often, so it was my chance to do it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I really like how it looks and I try to use a lot of different textures on the walls you see now because um, modern, I've seen a lot of people saying that kind of modern style is always black and white and I don't think that's the case. I don't think modern is always black and white even though my builds could say the opposite because I tend to use only black and white when I build modern houses. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just wanted to add some pops of color and some textures so it doesn't look so plain and so boring. And yeah, you will see me decorate only one bathroom and it's actually the master bathroom that it's not connected to the bedroom. So I couldn't make the, the floor plan work in that way because I wanted this open area here to put a chandelier or something, but we don't have chandeliers in the base game. So I used this one and I sized it up to make it look better in the space. But this is a master bedroom and yeah, it's, it's really big. It's kind of huge. I would say <laughs> so i divided it and it actually has a wall in the middle that you will see in a few seconds and on the other side i placed um kind of a, an office area so the front of the of the room the one that faces the front of the house would be like an office area and here's the bedroom area so yeah there's no much space in here but still i thought it would be interesting to have this kind of concept here because you still have the privacy from the bedroom to work in your office and the other way around as well. So yeah, I, I actually really liked it and it's not like you have to go, um, I mean, you have to go through the bedroom to get to the office, but it's not like it's a closed office. I don't know if I'm explaining myself, <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to have this space here for your sims to do, I don't know, some work or to just have some fun and play or whatever you want to do with that. And I didn't think of a specific family for this build because I never remember what careers we get with only base game. So yeah, I didn't say, I wouldn't say that it's just like for an astronaut or for a scientist because I, I honestly don't remember in which packs or base game um, came which career. So yeah, it's just for a regular family of three because you have these tiny kids from here that it's well it's the only other room that i could fit uh, because i really wanted that open concept like the open area um there <laughs> next to the room and i actually forgot that i didn't place any windows in this bedroom so i had to um work with that and i just put that big window there and yeah luckily i remembered that because i was gonna put some other stuff in that in that wall and then this room wouldn't have had any windows but yeah they have this big big window and this kid actually has an ensuite and that's weird because kids don't tend to have en suites but this one has one it's a really small one it's really functional i mean completely functional and stuff this is the master bedroom master bathroom and it's the only bathroom that i'm gonna show you today as i said before it's the biggest bathroom in the house so this house ends up having uh, three bathrooms yeah two bedrooms and three bathrooms so it has a lot of space a lot a lot of space and the bathrooms are basically the same as this one but 
smaller because we don't have that many showers or tubs or anything actually in the base game i wish we could get an update with more bathroom stops for the base game because i mean we get a lot of nice stuff with the other packs but base game is kind of left behind in that way with when, when it comes to bathrooms in my opinion so yeah i don't know what could be a good um a good explanation to get bathroom appliances or stuff in a base game update but in my opinion i think it would be really interesting and yeah they have a big grand piano here because they actually have a lot of free space so there were a lot of empty spaces in this area and i didn't know what to do i would have loved to put like a ping pong table or a foosball table but those came with other packs i know the ping pong table comes with the discover university pack but i don't remember in which pack comes the foosball table maybe the same one i don't know but yeah i didn't want to put anything like that and i couldn't do it <laughs> so i just decided to put the grand piano in there so yeah this family has a grand piano <laughs> and the only uh, time that i used the tool mode was to place these rocks because they were clipping with the um, with the platform tool so if i put them too close to the walls uh they would just uh, raise up and they would look really weird so yeah i had to use the tool mode a few times just to put them back to the ground <laughs> but yeah here are the all the other rocks that i put in this uh, house and here i was struggling with the color of the basement because i didn't want to have that brick that was I don't know it was it, it was looking weird so i decided to change it for the other one that you saw it's more like an exposed brick but it's more ran down so i really liked it and this is the backyard area it's really small but it has everything for your sims to work properly in this area so they have a pool they also have a grill area and they have this monkey jungle bar thing for the kids i have to memorize that name i always forget if it's a jungle bar a monkey jungle bar i don't know how it's called monkey bar i have no idea <laughs> but yeah i wanted to have something for the kid as well but having a pool and everything just like everything that you would place in a big backyard but in a small one <laughs> So yeah, that was basically my idea for this area. I actually had a lot of fun building this house because as I said before, it's been a while since I built a, a base game house and I really like it. And I wasn't feeling like building a cottage, like a base game cottage or something. I really wanted to build a modern house. And I think this house would help me finish the other modern house that I was working on, that it wasn't pack restricted, but I just couldn't find the right place to put it and it, it was looking so good but i didn't like how it looked when i was building it and yeah it was a real struggle for me so i decided to stop working on that one and start building this one and this one came out really easily if we compare it to the other one that i haven't finished yet <laughs> so you may see more modern houses in the future in the channel if i manage to finish the other one but yeah here i did something that i never did before and it's to put that light on the wall and size it down and make it look like it's a bell so maybe um it could work that way i don't know it's up to you but i really like that idea and this is the base the the base game what am i saying this is the garage <laughs> and i put some random clutter here like i put this uh, cabinets that we got for the kitchen it's the same one that we got in the kitchen but i used them in a different color and i put the easel here and i'm putting the thread mill as i said before and yeah i just wanted to have a functional garage but still have it like have a full garage but still functional yeah that's what i wanted to say and the trash cans are there as well so i think the garage has its purpose <laughs> and here we're finishing the backyard we came back to this part and they have the sitting area they have the grill they will have uh, they have those lounge chairs in there the monkey bar or whatever it's called and they will have that sofa in there and some plants and yeah that that would be pretty much it for this whole build <laughs> so yeah 
Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this speed build. And also follow me on social media. The links are all in the description down below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Enjoy the screenshots. Goodbye. I wish I could make you stay. Cause baby, I love you. Why are you trying to break us up? When I'm trying to build it up. I wish I could make you stop. Cause baby, I love you. Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight. I'm gonna miss your body. You know I can never get it right without you. No, I don't wanna step into the light. If I don't get you, shoddy. Sweetness.